surrounded by a bunch of drones. Jeez. Like, why? I don't know. But I guess this is just your basic Xerax planet. It has a bunch of Xerax on it and nothing else. <laughs> so, it's weird. So, we're, we're in Xerox space, but they probably don't own the entire planet. Well, there's no other factions on the planet, you'll notice. Yeah. Because the way it seems to work is if you're in the territory of it, the chances of having another faction on the planet is extremely low. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and head back towards the uh, ship, towards the Leviathan, because okay. it looks like, More you know, space. there's not a whole lot of interesting things on this planet. Usual stuff. Stuff we don't really need. I think it would be nice if they added, like, uh, like unique resources that you can only find on, like, maybe one out of a hundred planets. It has a unique resource and uh, the resources you can utilize in place of other resources or as, you know, um, as, you know, rare materials to sell or to create unique items that you can only utilize with that. Like, imagine if there were weapons that you could create, like either ship weapons or personal weapons, that you could only create with certain extremely rare resources. And then, you know, like one out of a hundred planets would have, like, a possible to have a resource and have, like, ten different types of rare resources. Then it would make exploring kind of worth it to, you know, create the high, higher level things. And then have like there are there are those other resources, but there really isn't any use for them yet. Yeah, they got like, pla platinum and uh, and and uh, was it aluminum? Aluminum, yeah. That that has no purpose right now apart from creating thing like the bars and stuff to sell. Just trading so far, but they'll use it for something. So there's some other stuff too I can't think of, like. But, more in more in term parts to build other stuff. Yeah. But also I think they should have like the same chance that a planet that you encounter will have like a, a super uh dangerous like resist it like a, a hostile force maybe maybe you know not legacy but like some other like maybe the pirate faction they'll have, it'll be a pirate planet and uh and they have like a a like i don't know something special that you can only get there pirate booty All right, I'm back on the uh, Leviathan. I'm eight clicks away. Although I guess this this universe, this galaxy is so large, you could theoretically have it be one out of a thousand planets and it would still be worth searching for. Have it so that, like, when you enter the orbit of the star system, the planet itself has a note on it, not notating that it's got a rare resource or that it's got, you know, something like that. And I want to be able to fly into gas giants. 
<clears throat> and burn up? Well, no. If you take a like take a spaceship, a capital vessel, like have it so that capital vessels can go in, but small vessels, uh, you can't fly into there, but you can take them in with the, uh, well, I don't know. You could have small vessels go in there, but have it so that it's like super hot. And so that like outside of the, uh, ship, your character wouldn't be able to survive. So you have to take vehicles and such, but have it so like inside the gas giants, there's like gaseous resources, like, um, well, I mean, I'm thinking like, um, uh, what is it that they have like in Star Trek? They occasionally have to, uh, scoop up in Voyager because they can't replenish at a star dock. Um, like, oh, I think it's just some kind of common thing, but like they have to, it, like, it's like a warp plasma type, whatever, you know, and they have to gather it in gas giants or in nebulas and such. And I'm waiting until you can actually fly into a nebula and it looks like you're in a nebula and you can actually, you know, have nebular POI type things. So I'm ready to go whenever you are. As soon as we get here. Coming in now. And the ship sank. Yeah, that was my fault. I made it sink. Open the door. The door should be opening for you. Me? I'm just right on the door. Yeah, I docked. It's open. Turn off my shields. There it goes. I don't know why it wasn't opening for you. Okay, we're good. All right, I'm heading back to the cockpit. All right, I guess to the bridge. All right, which star system do you want to investigate now? You want to head towards Creel territory? We could. That would be the purple? Yep. Yeah. Or is that the one way out in the distance? That's Legacy. That's Legacy way out in the distance. Where all the creepy planets are in the Creel. I mean, in the, yeah, in the Legacy. Uh oh. Quit and continue error. I did that because I was in the star map when you warped. It's possible. It says you're in the sector we're in, though, so. Uh, we are currently at the edge of Polaris territory. I don't know if you want to get out and check anything in this system. Um, there's a the snow planet and a couple of moons. Nothing we haven't really seen before. And we've seen all the Polaris POIs. See, or, see place D-O-R. 
It says it looks like a planet, but it says it's space. Maybe the sector's in space, I guess. Well, you must be looking at the space sector. Click the little planet yeah. icon on the right, and it will. Yeah, if it says door sector, it, it, it says space. Oh. Door is the planet with snow that's large and oh, blah, blah, blah. I say we head on into Creole territory. Okay. And then through Creole territory, try to get to uh, Legacy Space and take a look at those planets. Although we might have to refuel on Pentaxid before we get to Legacy Space. There's a swamp planet. There are several temperate moons on here. A lot. Yeah, three temperate moons and an, a snow moon. Plus a snow planet. Get so far out that the all the planetary bodies just have numbers. Right. <laughs> and of course, there's always a space station right near the sun, it looks like. Or a Polaris station, I guess. I don't know. Let's check it out and see. We didn't check out the one in the... Uh, Xerax territory. I'm wondering if they had a uh, Xerax trading station. <laughs> this is a Creel trading station. Oh, Creel. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. There's a lot of resources here, but I'm going to head towards the trading station. The only thing I see on the map is the trading station. Yeah, but I pinged with the uh, thing, so... Yeah, I don't see anything else, though. We're okay with them, right? Yeah, I think we're yeah. neutral. Yeah. We're neutral pretty much everybody, except for players. We're friendly. If we keep taking out Xerax, we'll end up being friendly with everybody, but... <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, was shooting a lot of, Xerax. I was shooting a lot of Xerox in the last planet we were at. Just because my turrets would hit him. But I didn't see any changes happening to with our uh, uh, factions. Yeah. yeah. Even if we did, we'd get more friendly with Talon, even though they don't even exist on this planet. Like, how would they even know? I don't know. Rumors. Our reputation precedes us. Apparently. The whole universe. Gold. Now, I'm wondering if they just use the same trade stations for Creole and just make them Creole fashion. Yeah. Or if they actually I, I know have... their POIs on the planet are different. And I think um, they're at the very least planning on making their trading stations different. Their space bases, at least, hopefully, but probably not. Yeah, I don't know. What should be the red done dot. it or not? What, it'll be the red dot. It's gonna be the red diamond. You think so? Yeah, I'm just guessing red diamond. So the basic one that's on the starter system. Uh huh. Which is flares. Maybe it'll be a different color. So level two, maybe not. Well, the level of the of the station doesn't really matter. That just determines how much, uh, like the level of the creatures that spawn in it, which determines how much health they have and damage they do. 
Um, I thought also how much the how many turrets are on the station and no, not really. Now, if it says defense one and defense two, that does. But the level of the station is just basically, you know, how powerful the creatures it spawns are. So are there ever any, ever any NPCs that are like really high level, like level 10, 20? Well, 10 is the highest. We are. 10 is the highest they can get to. And yes, there are. there is the potential for sectors to have uh, high level uh, planets that have high level POIs that spawn on that have high level things. So like the level of a planet, if a planet's play field is say level eight, that means that POIs can spawn anywhere between level six and 10. Mm. It always has a factor of two lower or higher potentially Ran anywhere Random. between there. Yeah. So like if it's a level eight planet, you might have one POI level six, one POI level eight, one POI level seven, one POI level 10. You know, so just that random is based on the seed and it's not, yeah. Right, but the POIs themselves can overwrite that with the POI entry and you can have the potential to have a... Uh, ah. Cross section, but, it, but it's a, yeah. Ooh, what's that? Oh, probably some ore. Yeah, that down there is sathium. But, uh, it, you know, so uh, the POIs, you could say, set it at this level and it'll be that level. So. I'd see the International Space Station, but without the solar panels. Right. But this is one of their typical POIs that the talent, or not the talent, the, the, the Polaris uses. Polaris, yeah. This one has a huge garden, too. I think on both levels. All right, uh, let's teleport over and see what, you know, what, oh, I need to turn the teleporter on. See what, if, if they have any special anything. Oh, it says your reputation is not good enough to teleport to that station. <laughs> well, we can fly there. Uh, let's take the IPEX shuttle over. Because that is the polite thing to do. <laughs> uh, we may have to... Yeah, the hangar doors are turned off. Go turn on the hangar doors real quick. Shut. There we go. Land on landing pad four. Enter sign, yay. I'm go up. Uh, let's see. Welcome to Minotaur Trading Station. Trading is downstairs along with the living quarters and greenhouses. Control, docking ring, resupply, maintenance is all up. There should be greenhouses here, too. I can see them from outside. Uh, we're on the living quarters. I guess you're right. Okay. Market Cafe. What you got? Stuff. But you're not a Creole trader. You're a uh, neutral trader. He's not a creepy looking alien? Well, he is, but he's just a standard creepy looking alien, not the insectile creepy looking alien. Oh. So I'm going to head down there. 
Interweb. Hello, Interweb. This is where... Okay, this is where you can sell all the Tier 2 stuff. And we can get uh, Plasma Blaster charges. It's funny, they only have five Plasma Blaster charges maximum at a time. For the alien one? Well, for the interweb, interweb only can sell up to five plasma blaster charges at a time. But it's for the alien and plasma blaster, is it? Yeah, the plasma blaster that used to be called the something else, but they renamed it. It's not. It, it's oh. not the plasma cannon. It's the plasma blaster. And there's some gardens down here. Don't pick them though, or we'll become hostile to the. <laughs> mm. to the Creole and we don't want that. You can access the fridges though. Yeah. Just don't accidentally pick something while accessing the fridges. <laughs> yeah, they're right next to them. You can access the food processors and they are relatively useless because you can't tell which fridge is which. Because you you, you have to assign them to the specific uh, fridges you want to use. Aunt Mary's Gardening Center, this direction. Well, hello, Trader Aunt Mary's. Is she looking extra ugly today? Looks like a dude alien like always. You can sell turnip greens and Phoenix, fa Phoenix fern fronds here. Not very expensive, but you can do it. I steal all the food. Okie okay, medical. I already alluded four and three. <laughs> I'm not worrying about it. There is a teleporter here that you can use to teleport back to the Leviathan. Survey okay. Corp. But not to the Leviathan, or from the Leviathan to here. Correct. They allow us to teleport away, but not teleport to. But we can trade with them because you can now trade with neutral things, so. Thank goodness. I'm, I'm glad they allow you to trade with neutral things. I just wish now they would make it so that every time you buy something from a neutral trader, it gives you, I, I don't know, one, maybe two points towards them i mean mm. you know something to make it worth you know con trading with neutral factions to get yourself allied with them because the only way to do it now is to kill xerox or kill critters on their uh, land yeah You know, we could probably, let's see, these docking ports. Yeah, we could bring the, the Leviathan. Leviathan. we could bring the Leviathan up to a docking port and extend its uh, one of its side things to get on and off. I'll have to keep that in mind for next time we come to one of these stations. Did you teleport back yet? No, I went all the way up to the top to where there's no gravity. <laughs> I'm at the Ipex. I'm heading back to the Ipex now.
I'm out of range of the Leviathan, though. There's a constructor room, but the constructors don't connect to anything, but you could connect them to the fridges if you wanted. <laughs> yeah, they really have to redesign some of these uh, POIs. Yeah, this is an old design. This is one of the original designs. can't climb up. It's a stupid thing. Just walk up. I'm walking. And this is as far as it goes. I mean, it's not that, that hard. Look, look, watch me. Watch me. I see you. It doesn't work. I go forward. Doesn't work. I just think you don't know how to walk. Yeah. <laughs> All that space walking spoiled me. The wings are sticking out on the on your SV. No, they're not. And they are to me. What about now? Because I just did the docking mode thing. I'm standing on him. You see me floating up here? Yep, there. Fell. That was funny. All right. I guess we'll continue. You want to go down to a planet in Creole territory, see some of their POIs or? Yeah, if you want to. I've already seen most of them. I don't think there's anything different. I think you have to get like like towards the center. Or the... Wherever that might be exactly, I'm not sure. Let's take a quick look over here at this uh, swamp planet. This planet ought to be similar to the planet that we, uh, to our home planet. Our second home planet. Yes. Our, uh, what, what do you call it? Post glitch home planet. <laughs> Post update glitch planet. Yeah. Subjugator. Whoa. Check that out. Is that a CV or is that a base? That's a CV. That's 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 their capital vessel. One of their capital vessels. That that's actually, I believe, something that they just added, like in the last few updates. Is this the one with the tentacles on it? I think it is. Weapons are off, so we're not gonna. Well, we're not hostile with them anyway, so. Oh, that looks different. 
Is there two of them there? Nope, that's one vessel. Oh, wow. That's just the equivalent of one of their freighters. Looks kind of mean, though. Got some decent looking weaponry on it. It's got, what is that, six laser cannons? Giant thrusters. Those thrusters look different. The ones on the front look different. I can't. Or is that the back? All right. Look at the way it's heading. It's heading uh, forward. So. Well, you're following along. I wasn't sure if it was the front or back. I thought we weren't even moving. Yeah, that's an interesting looking ship. What was it called? The Subjugator. Sounds so evil. I wouldn't call it evil, just different. I mean, the name. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's got some uh, it's usually, artillery it's turrets on the side. Oh, yeah. But it's using player turrets, though. Yeah, I know. But he's this? Yeah. I know that the Legacy has those little tiny dome ones. They shoot lasers. You see something else? Yeah, there's another Creole vessel out this way. Never seen that ship before. Not even a screenshot. But that's why we're out here to explore strange new things. To seek out life we've seen on, on all the other planets. <laughs> no, our, our mission is to explore re relatively mundane planets that we've seen all over the place and to seek out strange life in strange civilizations. But there are strange planets in the game. I've seen them in, in videos. I believe, le you see, and here's the thing. I don't know if those are core, like our base planets in the, in the, unmodded game or if those are planets that people created yeah i think it's the one i've seen spange play when when version 12 came out or alpha 12 came out he was just he was in creative or he was in a survival game but had creative move on so he could just warp around wherever he wanted just to see what was new and that's why i saw it so i'm thinking it is vanilla game it's not a mod it may be uh, legacy things because I've heard the legacy planets are really weird. Yeah. And that's the one that's far away. Correct. Oh, there's freighter. This one looks relatively mundane. This looks like an actual freighter. Maybe it's a freighter run by non Creole that, that are just uh, hired by the Creole to. Uh, transport their goods. <laughs> it won't even give me its name. This one always reminded me of those random ships you see in the old Battlestar Galactica. The 
in the entire fleet, there's always these, these little ships. It looks exactly yeah. like one. Yeah. Creel Freighter, identify yourself. You know, that'd be interesting if you had to hail a freighter. Like, you, if you could hail ships and get, you know, info about the ships, what they're carrying and all, uh, if they're friendly and, uh, you know. We hail them to find out what their name is and what their faction is. We can scan them to see what kind of makeup their ship is, like weapons and well, stuff. Well, you should, yeah, you should be able to scan them to find out, like, not the faction that they're working for, but the faction that like creates that type of ship, ha like have it so that it gives you the ship info. Um, yeah, like you can the scan. Builders who made the ship. That's a big ship. Gun. It's bigger. It's bigger than the Leviathan, sort of. In a yeah. Way. Longer. It's longer and it's it's a little bit wider, but it's not as dense. It's got so you know a lot more uh, empty space. <laughs> At one point, I actually took that capital vessel apart. This was right after I, uh, after they allowed you to dock capital vessels to capital vessels, and tried to make the little mo side pods modular. It worked, but they are the only things that have forward and back thrusters, so the main ship could not move. <laughs> well, it's got the, apart from the it, that had forward thrusters. I think I don't think there are any forward thrusters, so it would move. It just wouldn't slow down. All right, well, you're not going to let us know who you are, so we're going to be on our way. You need things on have access to the scanner. Hope they fix it. Say what? They let me see what you're scanning when you're pinging. Yeah, that'd be nice if like, oh, but only if you're like in a seat or something, that would be, you know. Or maybe a faction, it would let anyone in your faction that's within a certain range of the ship. It no. does. We're on a planet and we're in separate SVs. <laughs> well, it, it'll let us see not what you ping, but what you've discovered when you find its name, it lets you see it. It won't let you see, you know, resource or, you know, things like that. All right, let's see if we can get onto the planet and take a look at some Creel planet side uh, POIs. Hmm. And you see, I wish they would do like I did in my Star Salvage, make it so that like in the, like the planets apart from the starter, like there's a percentage chance that capital vessels are not allowed on the planet just because so that you have to take small vessels down. Maybe because the gravity is really high. Well, no, because what I like, uh, the way I did, I did it specifically as a, uh, basically as a, to encourage people to take small vessels down and put themselves in more danger type thing. Time to belly flop. Is it shallow here? This is deep water. No, we're in deep water. We're in deep water now. Oh no! Yeah, but the deep water isn't really that deep.
Dude, that might have some boosters in it. Feel free to look if you want, but remember, like I said, we can buy boosters. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. The things are empty? Yeah. There's only two of them on this on this uh, wreckage. Just crash ship sentinel. So there shouldn't be many hostiles here because it's <laughs> Creole. I got a broken engine. Now, why is that? If you notice, when you start tearing it down with your, your, your multi-tool that has like 15,000 hit points, I come on, thrusters don't have that many hit points. That type of thruster does. Really? That big? Yeah. The, I don't the, the, the three by three has a lot of hit points. My shit's with just that. It's stronger than the blocks. Yeah, it's got 16,750. I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry all this because my weapons on my... Uh, my my weapons are full on my capital vessel, so I'm just going to have to break it apart and hope I don't lose things. I can go to you. All right, you're down there. Hey, I didn't drop anything. Okay. I got 50, 54 Zescosium alloy, four power coils, 27 oscillators, then some optical fiber and motors. No flux coils? Uh, nope, no flux coils. Like I said, I got power coils, but no flux uh, coils. Yeah, contain flux coils. I also, no. got, I also got oscillators, which have the same, like five oscillators has the same uh, resource requirement as a flux coil. So if we needed to, we could just, you know. I don't know if you can deconstruct those. I think that's the lowest they go. No, but you can throw it into a, uh, into a, the workshop factory, whatever. I'm wondering if there's actually any Creel on the planet or if it's just a empty planet. What if it was a, where they take all their bad people and useless people and just throw them on this planet and they can live in the wild. You, you mean Australia? Oh yeah. I mean, after all, that's kind of what they did with Australia. They, they threw all the criminals into Australia. Like have fun. Escape from Los Angeles. Wasn't that like the same idea? I have no idea. Old movie. Or they, they quartered off Los Angeles and they threw all the criminals in there. Um, there was an episode of Star Trek, a couple of episodes actually, that involved, because uh, it was a to-be-continued episode, but uh, it involved uh, in the, uh, what, what, what do they say, in the... Uh, mid 21st century early to mid 21st century um uh almost like the united states started putting uh what what do they call them sanctuary districts in all their major cities and by 2025 every major city had one but what it was is it's really oh you're homeless you're poor you can't afford to live anywhere else here we'll throw you in here and uh give you an id and uh and we will occasionally bring food to the district. But other than that, you know, it's not policed. It's not, you know, anything. So, you know, 
the residents had to sort of defend themselves from anyone else if they I were... I found something, but it's, it doesn't come up on the map. It's really interesting. I've seen this in my single player, and I'm seeing it again, except there's more trees here. It's It kind of reminds me of Stonehenge. Where at? Where I'm at right now. It's a big spot. I cannot find your location on the map. I don't and see east from you. All right, I see something that might be interesting a little bit north, northeast big from me. North of you. Say it's what? Huge, I see a huge crater north of you. Yeah, that's where I'm heading. I'm going to go take a look at that because it's like circular and that's rare. Interesting. It, I guess it's just a uh, way that the terrain formed, but still. Greater or atoll. So this area where I'm at, it, it you know those tall rocks? Yeah, I literally do not see you on the map. Like, you're nowhere. Really? And now you're going north, so I'm like I'm pulling, I'm still east from you. You're right. Uh, okay. What is your coordinates? Negative four five six one positive one oh nine negative twenty six ninety four. Okay, you said what's your longitude and latitude? I don't know which is which, but the first number is negative four five sixty one. Well it has okay, if you look at your map it has Something long, something lat. Look at the numbers in the top right. Yeah, underneath the time. Like mine's negative 10,800 longitude to negative 2,000 latitude. Yeah. But mine's in the 4,000 4, range. Give me, give me the numbers again. Yep, you're coming my way. Yeah, give, give me give, give me your numbers and I'll just put a waypoint. Negative four five sixty one for the first number on the left. The center number is one oh nine, and the last one is negative two six nine four. Okay, um, you're not showing up on my map, but I I'm talking like when you just look at when you're not in your map, when you look at the mini map on the top right, it'll tell you your longitude and latitude. Oh, yeah, those are the same numbers. Yep. Longitude negative 4561, latitude negative 2694. Yeah, you're not far. Okay, I see you now. You're underneath the marker that I put. Me too. Oh, you're talking about yeah, just the it's it's got the stone ring here. Yeah, and it has these like these pathways in the top and the bottom, or I don't know which direction that is. He's, yeah, but but these these things are uh, uh, what do you call it? They're harvestable rocks. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, I'm gonna go take a quick bio break, and then I'll be back. All right. I'm gonna get coffee.
All right, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, me too. I got some more copy. Hey, you're right next to me. I tried hovering upside down, but um, I don't have enough thrusters on my top. So I started to sink. It's like, uh oh, uh oh. Hold X. <laughs> Even when holding down C, it wasn't enough. I had to flip yeah. back around. <laughs> All right. Um, you still want to keep looking for some Creel things if they have any on this planet? or? <laughs> Any POIs around here? I'm, I'm just seeing wreckages and just resources, and and weird formations like these, like this. Yeah. Stuff. Nothing spectacular pers about that crater that you found, huh? No, except for the they're both marshes. Your thing and my crater. Yeah. I wonder if it has um that mushroom biome, the fungus biome. You need lots of stuff there. It might. Yeah, it is swamp. Okay. It should. Um, if we find a uh, fungus biome, we should try to get the, uh, the yeah. plasmas. It's, and we can, that'll help for our uh, medical stuff. Right. That's one thing that we are relatively low on, but... We have mushrooms that we can use to make them if we need to, but if we can just find the plasmas, it'll help. Um, I think it's fungus biome, I think it's called. Yeah. I'm not sure. But it's pretty noticeable when you find it. Oh, yeah. But you can easily miss it, too, if you're not paying attention. Or if you're flying high. Yeah, it's all right over. You won't see the... Because I think the the, the plasmas kind of glow and they jiggle. They're not very bright, but they do kind of glow. It's also possible that uh, only the starter planet has that biome. Maybe. I do know they're on plateaus, so they won't be on plateaus. So I'm kind of by a plateau right here and see what it says. Now it's just low mountains. I'm waiting for some day when I'm Flying around a planet in Imperion, I see a giant mushroom, like in, uh, like in Minecraft. Big, bright, red mushroom. <laughs> yeah, and I know you don't play Minecraft, but the, um, there is one, of there's a mushroom biome that has these humongous giant mushrooms. There are simply blocks that look like mushrooms, but they're so bright, at least the red ones are really bright, you see them from a mile away. Maybe? This might be it? No. Iron deposit. Well, I haven't been scanning. I've been being <laughs> But all I see are resources. I don't see any question marks. I'm seeing some interesting looking things, but it's just a tree in the distance. Found something. Oh, yeah. South near the equator. Is it scannable? Because it'll, it'll tell me what you find? Uh, yeah, when I get close. Creel structure. 
Ooh. Pylon. Real pylon, yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Is it one that looks like there's a lot of weapons on it? Uh, there's a few weapons on it. Look like intimidating? A little bit, yeah. Okay. So we do have a presence here. Wonder if there's ooh, what's that? That looks weird. Yeah, it's got sort of like spike antennas out the front of it. 